Hey there, my name is Maya and I'm from Switzerland. Did you try like Japanese food in your country? Japanese like only sushi, but never like shabu shabu or something. Ramen also, but it was not that good like in Akihabara. Here it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's wine or... Yeah, it's a Japanese it's sake. <laughs> it's wine glass. Kanpai. Bye. goes down very easily, very smooth. I'm surprised they served it in wine glass. So. Because they are Roppongi. Oh, uh, fancy. And also, there are so many foreigners in Roppongi. Yeah, I've so seen. That, uh, more like westernized. Yeah. So where did you go? The first trip was like to Akihabara. Okay. That's where I stayed. It was amazing. I love that part from Tokyo. It's amazing. Right, so I went to Shibuya, Shinjuku, Meiji Jingu. Ah, Meiji. It's amazing there. Really nice. Ah. The air, it's so fresh. Yeah. Also, like, I went to Kamakura. It was breathtaking. It was very beautiful. All the temple shrines. <laughs> Kabu. Kabu is a turnip. Oh, okay. Yeah, and some uh, green onions with the uh, bacon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very tender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually at the capsule hotel. Oh, okay, capsule hotel. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a fun story. Mm -hmm. I'm like very tall. I'm one mm -hmm. meter eighty. Mm -hmm. At first, when I lie down. From the width, it's okay, but the length, I can uh -huh. really stretch out that much. It's like I have so much okay. from my feet when they're like yeah, straight. Yeah. But it's otherwise, it's perfect. I can only recommend it. Yeah, capsule hotel is something very unique in Japan, yeah. so a lot of foreigners want to try it. Yeah, true. For experience. True. Usually, uh, in capsule hotel, mm -hmm. there are two separate areas. One is for women, one mm -hmm. is for men. So the one you stay is like. Only women. Only women. Okay. It's only okay, women. That's, that's, that's yeah, that's yeah. even more yeah. special. <laughs> Very nice. I mm. like it. But uh, in Kyoto, I will be at the mixed one. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes there. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think more foreigners. But yeah, I think I'm excited for it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what do you do? Are you a student? Yeah, I'm actually at a university, just yeah. started studying law. Uh, the first semester is over. My dream was always to go to Japan, but oh. I like never got to it. It was always something missing, something. Now I'm so grateful that I can okay. be here for three weeks. I actually got interested into Japan because of one uh, writer, uh, Murakami Haruki. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Very special books which mean a lot to me, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Umibe no Kafka is my favorite one. Oh. And I got interested in this culture in Japan through reading books and also anime, manga, of course, that's also a part you get mm. to know more about Japan. In. And then I started studying Japanese. Okay. And uh, I got so interested, read some books like Ninge and Shikaku uh -huh. going on, and then I thought, now I have to see it. Everything is arranged so beautifully, even if it's that small and appetizing. Uh. Mm. I taste a lot of herbs. Mm. <laughs> ah, yes, it's a Tamagoya. It's a mm -hmm. mm. This is tofu. Mm, tofu. Mm -hmm. I mustered the chopstick. I like that one. Uh -huh. I like it very oh, this much. One, yeah? Dryer. Yeah, a bit stronger from the flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Mm. Oishi. 
So did you travel a lot in general? You go to China, right? And you go somewhere else in Europe, maybe? Besides Switzerland, I've only seen my like home country mm -hmm. because originally my parents are from Serbia, Bosnia. Oh. So they were immigrants going from the war, like okay. uh, trying to escape the war. They come to Switzerland. But the only countries I've been to were were like not many in mm -hmm. Europe. And then last year summer I tried to I told myself, Maya you have to see the world. Okay. And then I went to China. Which city? <laughs> Shanghai? Or? No, no no actually not at all. Chengdu. Chengdu. <laughs> but I had a friend there, so uh -huh. he went traveling with me. Uh -huh. yeah. I need someone because especially there I couldn't survive. I couldn't <laughs> right. like on my own no no, no way. way. I'm confident in Japan because I think my language skills are enough. Mm -hmm. I can ask for the train, which yeah. line, uh, no problem. But I think Hokkaido would be a very nice place. Mm. If you like uh, seafood, yeah. maybe Hokkaido is one of the best places oh, really? in Japan. Okay. Because they have a lot of fresh fish, mm -hmm. different kinds. Yeah. Also like snowboarding, skiing, oh, it's, it's a nice kind of there. famous place. Yeah. yeah. But maybe it's Switzerland, they yeah, you have maybe, a lot of uh, maybe we have mountains. Maybe Switzerland is better. <laughs> yeah. I won't say better, but like, same options. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for, we have so many tourists coming like to skiing, snowboarding. Right. It's, I can only say, even if you just go up to the mountains to do some hiking, wonderful. I think, I think so, yeah. Wonderful. Consi if you consider the railway, it's like same developed like mm -hmm. Japan. Oh. Maybe not that punctual yeah, yeah. because we have some punctuality problems yeah, in Switzerland yeah. but um, basically you can go everywhere you have an app for mm. seeing where to access everything so yeah, yeah. we have also many Chinese people visiting us uh. I think you've heard in the videos before <laughs> <laughs> because I live in Zurich okay. and also there you see like for the luxury brands always applications if it's good if you can speak Arabic or Russian or Chinese. Mm -hmm. And so you need that language plus English plus oh. German. So wow. and that competition there too. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Yep. I've Googled it. It looks awesome. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, uh, It looks awesome. It looks amazing. It's a Japanese beef, and this is a pork from mm -hmm. Kagoshima Prefecture, which is south of Japan. Okay. It's like the pork compared to Kobe beef. Yeah, yeah. Like the like pork that. version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of brown, you know, pork. It's so good. <laughs> oh my god. It's so good. Yeah. Like wow. It. Okay, try, it's try. It's so tender. It's so good. Mm. Try the beef one. So good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Try it. It's so yeah. good. All right. It's so good, right? Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so good. Wow. In Switzerland, we have like uh, fondue chinoise. Ah, yes. Uh, fondue. Chinese fondue. It's like similar similar to this one, but like 
the quality of meat we put in there is not like the same luxury mm. we have here. Oh. It's spelled. It it's means kind of Chinese, right? Chinese fondue. Mm. And instead of cheese, you have like broth and oh. put in the meat and just let it cook until it's done. It's like very similar to shabu shabu. Yeah. But maybe I can show you. Mm -hmm. Originally, I'm not from Zurich and we have amazing cake there. And we've got a carrot cake there. Oh, with carrot carrots. cake. It's called Argauer Riebli Torte. I can't remember the name. <laughs> 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 Too long. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> it's the best carrot cake you will ever try. Okay. It tastes mm. like cake, yeah. but uh, you have carrots inside. And the carrots on top are just like decoration, decoration. made of ah, fondant. I see, I see. Or so for Zurich, where are the places you recommend for sightseeing? For sightseeing. I've been waitressing in one of the old town parts. Mm -hmm. uh, go up the hill mm -hmm. where the university is. Oh. And it's a very beautiful platform. We call it Polyban. Mm -hmm. You just take that and go up. Red. Yeah, and stick so much a small out. car. But it's cute. cute it's car. beautiful. You see whole Zurich and especially in the evenings. For myself, it's a beautiful view. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Good. And you've still got all the like mainstream places people go. Mm -hmm. The lake is always beautiful. Okay. The f further you walk from yeah. the main town, main yeah. port, the more beautiful it gets. Oh. So just keep on walking. <laughs> <laughs> you have to show me around the city when I go there. Of course. <laughs> and also the food. Yeah, yeah. I'm like a pro for which restaurants to go or not. Okay. Because I've worked at many restaurants. Okay, try. Actually, there are noodles coming. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's over no, now. It's not over yet. Maybe you can be a model in Japan. <laughs> yeah, so tall. Actually, I had a sh yeah. like shooting with my friend. Yeah. He is photographer in uh -huh. Japan. I uh, had a shooting at Shibuya with him. Okay. And then someone approached me and asked me if I am model mm -hmm. and if I'm there in like March. Yeah. Maybe for a shooting. <laughs> yeah, really? I was like, no, no sorry. Right, so, uh, you won't be here, right? <laughs> you have to be I, in uh, university. I have to study <laughs> for university yeah. then. <laughs> Do you still have some space to eat noodles? Maybe I can ask them to only small portion. Small portion yeah, okay. would be good. こちらが記念地麺という記念麺です。あ、普通の記念麺とは違って、小麦粉とあとあのパスタとかに使うライ麦を一緒に練り込んでる麺なんで、とても食感のもちもちとしたパスタの。それが人に立ちしましたら、火